Since November the 12th, this has been the scene in Accomack County. The fires continue to burn. The fire crews are depleted and spread thin. But what's worse, the people in Accomack County are living in fear. Some students say they don't feel secure here, but the police here at UMES say they're working hard to change that. Police hope criminals and officers are deterred from using guns with the tasers. And these little cameras, they hope they're going to help as well because they record everything the officer will do from routine traffic stops to making arrests. This is video from the new small cameras Pocomoke police officers will be using. It records audio and video, but that's not all. Officers will also be using tasers. Pocomoke Police Chief Calvin Sewell says the taser helps deter gun use and the cameras give everyone an extra layer of protection. These cameras will, if the officers are involved in internal situations, um, and we can use the cameras to either rebut any, any um, statements that are given to us by people uh, who make it against the officers. Now when the officers get out of their cars, they'll have their tasers and their cameras ready. And most believe this will help them do their job a lot better. Officer Damian McGlotton is happy about the new equipment. The taser is a great tool because a lot of times it'll deter someone from even trying it once they see you have a taser on them. The cameras will actually catch that. It'll be an extra backup for us, you know, backing our word up saying that the incident did happen and happened exactly how we explained it in our reports. Some who live in Pocomoke believe the cameras will work. I think in a way it's kind of a good thing. Uh, that way, if it's recording the video and the audio, you know, you don't have to worry about any kind of foul play or anything going on, anybody complaining about it. So as long as everyone's aware of it, I think I don't think it's bad. But others feel the tasers may be just as bad as guns. That's kind of dangerous. I mean, for not just for the officer, but for the citizens. I mean, suppose there's an accident and, you know, they don't mean to tase somebody and somebody gets tased. I think they're kind of dangerous. And officers here in Pocomoke are already using the tasers and they'll be using these little cameras sometime next week. Now they will have to let the people know that they are being recorded. Reporting live tonight in Pocomoke, Tony Hurst, WBOC News. These three ladies live in a senior citizen community behind State Line Plaza in Del Mar and they say these trucks have been a serious problem for more than a year. It's affecting me not only noise wise, it's affecting my breathing when I go outside. A couple weeks ago, we had seven tractor trailers and a school bus out there. A school bus? What was a school bus doing out there? Roxy Rogers says she's had too many sleepless nights because of the trucks. I'm up all night because I have no reason to try to go to sleep because by the time I doze off, something goes off out there. And some kind of noise is the trucks are starting and stopping. A representative from Silicalo Development says these signs were posted. The sign is clearly posted, but you can see it's getting dark here and the trucks, they're still here. We wanted to find out from the owner of the property what will be done to make sure these trucks abide by the rules. WBOC tried to contact the owner of Silicalo Development, but we could not reach him. We even gave a call to Del Mar Police, and they told us to contact the owner as well. While we couldn't get an answer today about the trucks clearly parked in the lot, these ladies know what they want done. I would like to see the trucks moved so they wouldn't be disturbing the ladies. It's just not a truck stop. You don't bring your trucks in here and change your tires and run them all night, and that's what these people are doing. And it's, it's, Roseanne said, it's just not fair to us.